Hello everyone, this was just supposed to be an update video on the previous Ecosphere build with Sheldon the snail but I discovered something very very interesting, you will see it in a moment if you want to see how I built this Ecosphere, go check out my previous video link in description well he seems to be digging or struggling with something, I'm not sure But yeah, let's see tomorrow. I hope he'll still be alive. Okay guys, every little dot you see on the edge are baby snails. So this, all of this, all of these dots, here, 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 are all baby snails. Let's see if I can focus on one. Oh yeah just like that there you can see one just everywhere i hope there will be enough oxygen probably a lot of them will die off but well yeah that's just natural selection look at this grass plant these all of these new leaves on the right are new so the soil is very good it went through the soil back up through the stones that's new growth. It turns out that Sheldon was just digging or something. He was not struggling at all. Because it's now the next day and he's just munching on some old leaf of the plant. Now a week later you can see the snails are a little bit bigger. All the little ones. Yeah, now you can see it. Okay guys, I really found something very exciting. Do you see it? There in the bottom. I thought it was a fish, but when I look closer, it's a freaking salamander, a larvae. And I have no freaking idea where it came from, but you can see the eyes, even little legs, front legs only. It's very small, but yeah, the only explanation is that there was a neck inside. And because of my previous video, with uh, where I saved five salamanders, this moss ball was actually in their enclosure. So my hypothesis is that there just must have been an egg from the salamanders in that moss ball. Because they tend to lay eggs in plants. We've got a freaking salamander in the ecosphere. That's just crazy. I will definitely give you guys an update. And yeah, I don't think it will actually be able to survive, like, as a full-grown adult. So I might have to open the egg sphere in the future, but we'll see if it will survive. Also, it has been a while since I filmed, so we're now, uh, like, one and a half months it's been closed. These ones have multiplied a lot. The roots are a little shorter. So I think all the little snails, which you can see everywhere, all the dots, are eating them, but they seem to be fine, as you can see from above. But yeah, have salamander guys, that's awesome. It's now two days further, and it's the first time I spotted him again. Or her. There between the grass, if it will focus. Yes, there between the grass, it's chilling. Here you can see the little head. I'm wondering if there's actually any food for it. It's, well, definitely carnivorous. The tank is full of little snails, but I'm not sure if it's able to eat snails, even little ones. But we'll see. As you can see, these plants have grown and multiplied very well also. And Sheldon, Sheldon, Sheldon. He's in the back there. So yeah, he's still alive. Probably like a week old or something. Maybe a little older because it already has front legs. Okay, now we have a better view of it. Let's see if I move the tank, if it will move. Oh, did you see that? It's very fast. A little, ooh, let's go. It's been a week since I've seen 
the little guy there he or she is and I don't know if you can see it but I think it has definitely grown and it looks like it has eaten something because its belly is like well it's transparent for one and it's pretty thick it's also like orangey inside the only thing it can eat here are those little snails you can see everywhere oh yeah it's actually doing fine let's prove that it's still alive and move the ecosphere a bit yeah and there it went so now I have a complete ecosystem with the plants as primary producers the snails as primary consumers here you can see a small snail munching on the tip of the grass and Sheldon is also chilling there and then uh, the salamander which can perfectly control the snail population now by eating it which is perfect as the secondary consumer or the carnivore the fact that it already works for a week is pretty amazing I think but we'll see for how long this will work because eventually the salamander will outgrow this setup I'm pretty sure and I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with it then but for now we're going to wait because this works just fine three days later he still does fine again like his belly is orangey he's a little bit bigger since the first time I saw it yeah guys do you see this? This is the first time I see him swimming. Whoa, he has really grown. But he's a little disturbed by me. The camera won't focus. But you guys saw that, right? That's really awesome. I'm going to leave on holidays for two weeks. So I will see. After two weeks, if it's still alive, I really hope so. In the ecosphere, it's already alive for at least two weeks now. So that's, well, that's extraordinary, I think. So guys, I will definitely give you an update. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I see you next time.